Okay, so for this question, I'm given a function of x and y, and I'm asked to calculate its divergence and its curl. So let's review what divergence and curl actually mean. Well, divergence is the dot product of the gradient vector and f. So, it looks something like this. So it is the partial derivative with respect to x of the i component of the vector plus the partial derivative with respect to y of the j component of the vector. So let's go ahead and plug in f and see what we get. So I have the partial derivative with respect to x of x squared plus y squared over 2 plus the partial derivative with respect to y of x times y. So let's go ahead and do this first component. Well, here I have, it could be like 1 half x squared plus 1 half y squared. And then 1 half y squared is a constant, and the derivative of 1 half x squared is going to be x. And then for the second term, the partial derivative of xy with respect to y is going to be x because x is just treated like a constant. So that means the divergence of f is just 2x. So now let's talk about curl. Curl is the cross product of the gradient vector with f. And for a two-dimensional case, I like to think of it as uh, taking the determinant of a two-by-two two matrix. Where you have the gradient partial derivatives with respect to x and y on the top, and then the i component and the j component on the bottom. So let's plug in the i and j components for this particular function. And take the determinant. So recall, multiply on the main diagonal and then subtract the products of the other diagonal. So I have the partial derivative of xy with respect to x minus the partial derivative of x squared plus y squared over 2 with respect to y. Let's go ahead and start differentiating. So for xy, y is going to be treated like a constant. When I take its partial derivative, I just get y. And then for x squared plus y squared over 2, again, I'm going to think of it like 1 half x squared plus 1 half y squared. 1 half x squared is a constant, and then the derivative of 1 half y squared is going to be y. So I get y minus y, and the curl of f is going to be 0.